in the last video we looked at how we can take in information from ProMap, the likes of ProMap, uh, that's the mapping data and height data, and combine them within a single caddy drawing to show the layout of a site. Uh, don't forget incidentally that if you only have 2D survey information, that's points with the, the text associated with them. In the Caddy DTM application, we can also process that information to get the height points themselves from a simple 2D plan. So uh, if, if that's the situation you're in, you don't have the 3D height data, then that's not a problem, it can still be done. First of all though, what we'll do is we'll look at how we can make it simpler to take a look at various uh, constituent parts of our drawing after we've created them. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to layer our drawing. So we can either go to the scope tools and we'll see there we have lay set, so that's layer set. That tool is also on the top toolbar here and we click that one and we see all the layers that we have within our drawing. Coming down uh, we see we've got height points at the bottom. If we wish to create any more uh, you can see we can insert and re-index these we can create and we simply type what we want it to be. So we could so type in 3D mesh, for instance. And we can carry on creating layers within our drawing uh, until we have all of the layers that we want. And we could put in things like the contours, we could put in things like site sections. So that's how we accomplish uh, the feet. Those layers are then available for use from uh, the selection box here at the top of our caddy screen. Having created the different layers within our drawing, what we're going to do now is make use of layers to switch off parts of our drawing so that we can see the information that we do want much more easily. So how do we do that? Well, within the scope tools here, we go to layer display and you see our slider bar at the side. Now I've got update layers dynamically ticked, which means that if we uh, remove or add in layers we can immediately see the result of that and we can use the uh, normal windows uh, shift and control keys to uh, select blocks of, of layers uh, or, and or just individual ones. So if we come down uh, the list all we're interested in at the moment is the height point so selecting the control key now having selected that we'll choose 3D tin because that's where we're going to put our 3D model. So OK that and then go to the DTM tools. If we don't have our DTM tools loaded, that's a DTM application, uh, you'll see it's down here on, on my screen. If we right click over one of the applications that we do have loaded, uh, Caddy for instance, we can go to load application and that will give us a selection of the applications available to us. Pick the one we want and load it, then the tools will be incorporated within our menus. I already have the DTM tools, so let's go to them now. So DTM and we see our DTM tools there on the right, having selected the, the main tool on the left. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to triangulate. We're going to create a 3D TIN model, a triangular irregular network. And how do we do that? Well, we simply drag a rectangle having selected the tool, it says select entities, first corner around which uh, the, the entities that we want to include within our tin. Having said that, it would be useful to incorporate our tin within the drawing on a specific layer. So if we come down and choose that 3D tin layer, then just drag over and then that will create our 3D tin model for us from the separate height points. Having created our tin model, what we can do, as well as zooming in on it and uh, orbiting around so we can see actually the, the undulations there, in fact if we change our render mode, so this is down at the bottom of the screen to Fong rendered, we'll see uh, a little more clearly the uh, the undulations and related to the height points there, which of course we can switch off. Uh, if we want to do that, then we can go back to our, our Caddy scope tools and layer display and switch off the height points by adding uh, the uh, control key when we, we pick the layer. So there, there we have our, our site, 
and we can see the the undulations and uh, uh, the, the trees and, and so on within it. Having created this model what we can now do is maybe produce contours from it. Now contours obviously are, are not going to be uh, a true representation when including the, the surface that we have here but you could do a very very similar process with the, the DTM, that's the terrain model but for the purposes of this exercise we'll look at how we can produce the contours from it. We'll go to a top view so if we go to view top view and there we are, we see our site and then back in the DTM tools obviously we can choose uh, to set up shortcuts to these uh, as I have here, so I've just a shortcut uh, look to uh, other videos within the Caddy website teach, uh, training videos there to find out how to, to customize your uh, your menus to give you the shortcuts you want. We'll now go to uh, contours we pick the contours and simply drag a box around the area we wish to contour. This brings up a dialog box which allows us to describe exactly what we want in the way of contour. So where the minimum contour is, where the maximum contour is, uh, what the uh, major contours and minor contours are, what colours they are represented on the screen, uh, through to text labels, the heights and whether we want the text angled or aligned. We can also say for uh, the, uh, the contours whether we want to layer them automatically. So if we go for layer labels for instance we can come down our list and also put that on contour heights. OK that, so when the contours are generated as it's doing now it will put those onto those specific layers for us, saving us the trouble of having to do it maybe later or, or doing it uh, separately within the command. Having created the contours, so we can see them on top of our model, we can also go back to our scope tools uh, and introduce those. Uh, ag again we can set up shortcuts uh, to, to get to these things uh, more quickly, but if we go layer display and maybe uh, switch off our tin model now, but add in the basic information on our site, uh, maybe any other items that we want to there. We get a picture of our site with the contours placed on it. And if we look, we can see the actual text is written in there as it was uh, described. And of course that will be as you want it rather than as what we we've done here and you don't need to have the uh, the surface model but the, the terrain model maybe that would be a better choice in this instance having seen how we can produce a 3D tin model from our height data and taking a look at how we can look at different aspects of our drawing through the use of layers in the next video we'll look at sectioning our tin model uh, so we, we're going to take sections through our site and put, place them onto our drawing. We'll also take a look at how we can produce from the, the 3D tin a mesh and then drape an image across that mesh. So giving us a, an aerial photograph that moulds itself to the contours of the, in this case, the surface model rather than the terrain model of the, the ground itself.